Greetings. Posters and billboards are usually an image connected to a plane. The big pro of using these is that it is much easier to just utilize a ready image than to create the model yourself. And also such images are rendered very fast. Moreover, this is an easy way to add more details and assets to your scene without damaging the performance. Just like in this environment that I am using. You can see that the posters are used here to make the scene more interesting. Let's start making our own poster. This blank wall right here would be a good fit for this. We need to add an object, which will have the image on it. The perfect object for this is a plane, as it is very simple and is basically a flat surface for the image. Lower the divisions, as there is definitely no need for more than one. It was added to the center of the scene, so I need to move it into the correct position. Also, rotate. Something like this. Now to add your image to this plane, Select the object and go to the Surfaces tab. Here, again select the plane and in these settings seek for the base color. It decides the color of an object, but you can also apply an image here by clicking on the arrow and then browse. Find the image on your computer and apply. I have used one of the renders done with our tutorials. It has been added successfully and we can see it here. But also we see a problem. The image looks stretched. This is because the plane that we use does not match the aspect ratio of the image. To fix this, all you need to do is scale the image into the appropriate size. You can eyeball this and just guess what is the right size. But it is not that hard to calculate it. So you will need the properties of your image and the calculator. Here you look for the dimensions in pixels. Here they are for me. And you take the first number and divide it by the second number. The result is 0.78 and it is what I should put in my X scale minus 78%. So I was pretty close. But this looks better. What is left to do is go to the surfaces tab and maybe make the material better. A good idea would be to get rid of any glossiness, as posters are not reflective usually. For more ideas about how you can improve the material of your objects, you can read our DAS 3D texture tutorial, where we look a lot at the surfaces tab and its settings. Back to the scene and now let's create a billboard. I'm going to use a different image that is more suitable. The main difference between the billboard and the poster is that it would probably be glowing. So instead of applying the image to the base color, we leave it empty. And apply it to the emissive color this time. Here it is applied. This effect can only be seen in the iRay rendered view, so I do that. Still looks like a regular plane. This is because by default objects do not glow and you need to change that by making the emission color full bright white. Now we can see something, though it is very dim. Increase the luminance setting to make it brighter. Now we see it better. And there is a problem, for some reason, it is mirrored. This is weird, but I just need to rotate the plane to make everything better. And then scale it to fix the stretching problem. I already know that I need the value that I need here. 
Oops, forgot the point. Here is the look. It still looks weird, a bit washed out and grainy. Increasing luminance more helps but does not fix this. The root of this problem is in the base color setting. Making it black should fix this problem easily. Or just making it darker, to make this effect less distracting. As in the small amount, it can look quite good. Alternatively, you can apply the image you have in emissive color to the base color. So even if you have it at full brightness, it still looks good. Another problem that you can meet is that if you want a really strong emission from the object, this can make some details disappear. Like now there are no bubbles behind the logo. Sadly, I don't know any way to truly fix this problem. The best way I can think of is just to try and match the luminance setting so it would be at the brightest point, but still have all details of the image present. Like this. And here is the final look of the billboard without any additional lighting on the scene. Ideas and items to help you can be found on the DAWS 3D website, where there are all the news around DAWS Studio. The best thing about billboards is that you can use this technique for a lot more than just adding images on walls. Here in the shop, there are plenty of products that will make your experience with DAWS Studio better. For example, you can add an image of the person to the plane and use it to add details to the scene. This is how River Soft Art proposes to use their now crowd billboards, Modern City Life. You can see that these scenes are very alive with a lot of most different characters on them. The catch here is that all these characters are not rendered, they are only 2D images with a transparent background. The billboard's FX master is very similar, but instead of adding characters with it, you add visual effects such as fire, explosions, and magic. So like this, you can add details to the scene without elongating rendering times at all. On other hand, you can get the Ron's acrylic painting bundle. It is a huge collection of artworks in an astounding 7200 by 5500 resolution. These artworks can be used for your posters and billboards and they will look awesome. Lastly, don't forget to visit our website, renderguide.com. Here are the best 3D models and tutorials for your render projects. We cover both DAWS Studio and Blender here. This includes articles on which this video is based. They are DAWS 3D billboards tutorial. With more information about billboards, and also the DAWS 3D How to Create a Poster Plane article. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to get more inspiration.